I hated living in New York City. In 2016, I moved there to attend NYU as a sheltered and timid 18-year-old with basically no social skills. Not knowing anything or anyone outside of my hometown in Vancouver, Canada, it was hard to make friends in such a big city and having to be self-sufficient for the first time in my entire life. On top of that, I was always nose deep in textbooks or scrambling to get a YouTube video edited that I never actually got the chance to explore the city. So that's why I'm moving back to New York City. Well, for the summer and possibly longer, question mark, question mark. I'm not really sure yet. But this time I want to truly explore New York by going thrifting, going to bars, meeting new people, eating good food and befriending the subway rats, of course. So let's give New York City another shot and let the adventures begin. I'm sweating so hardcore right now. <sighs> oh, we made it to New York City! Okay, let me do, whoa, I'm so dizzy. Let me take a little look-see at this room situation. Okay, it feels very New York. <laughs> very cramped, humble, quaint. It is quite dark in here. Let me get settled in. Oh, hello. This is my room for the next month. I chose the small room because I don't know, I actually like the vibes, but there's like really not that much space to walk in here. I've been here for about 15 minutes and I've already discovered some issues. And it's very typical NYC fashion. So I really, you know, I don't know what I expected. Basically the Wi-Fi doesn't work. And then also one of the windows like doesn't open or stay open. Wow, it's really loud. I cracked the window open because it's really hot in here. Do I miss the noises of New York City? I guess we'll find out. I actually used to just like, it was just white noise to me because I was so used to it. Like the ambulances at night, the fire trucks at 3 a.m., the fire drills when I had finals at 8 a.m. but that was a whole dorm situation. Anyway, I have messaged the Airbnb host about the issues at hand. Hopefully they will be fixed. I feel like under other circumstances I might be in shambles but I'm really just so hungry and tired that I can't process anything because I'm just so happy to be back in New York. I've always dreamed about having brown brick walls, like a classic New York City staple, and I have it. I actually am wearing pants, by the way. Here's the game plan for the whole closet unpacking situation. I I am notoriously like very slow at like packing and like putting away clothes and the whole unpacking a suitcase debacle is just such a headache for me. I just really don't have the brain power for organizing. I'm just not that type of girl. So here's what my suitcase looks like. I basically have everything organized like a bookshelf. Actually a bookshelf is not flat on the ground so I have everything organized. Well there really is no equivalent is there? I have everything like folded so I can, so it's like stacked and I can like, I mean, I guess I, I guess it is a bookshelf on the ground in a suitcase, but it's clothes. A lot of things are not the equivalents. Anyway, instead of unpacking all my clothes into drawers or hanging them up into the closet, I'm just gonna leave it in the suitcase so that when it comes time to like pack up and leave, I already have it in the suit. Dude, this angle is really bad for <laughs> I'm breathing because I'm so out of breath. We'll see how well it works. I just want to basically save time when I move out. And then like when I'm not using the suitcase, I just shove it back under the bed. For now, my elbow hurts so 
much. I do think though that it would be smart to hang up some of my the noises are gonna be so so yummy in my ears um i do think though that it'll be smart to hang up some of my outerwear pieces like jackets you know my classics you know my jean jacket the cardigan that i wear a lot of course my f1 jacket surprise guys i have plans the first night here i have social plans she really is a new york city girl now i was thinking about it and i realized that i have the most number of friends in New York City. And so I'm gonna try to hang out with everyone. I got a lot of time this summer, but I always think I have more time than I do. So I'm gonna make the most of it. Tonight, we're going to trivia night. So let's go. Good morning. I'm currently doing my makeup. It is currently 1.08 p.m. A lot has happened already today. I got woken up at 9 a.m., which is early for me, by knocks on my door because the building manager needed to come in to solve all the issues that were happening, like the Wi-Fi and um, the window situation. And we got the window fixed, but the Wi-Fi still, I don't have Wi-Fi, which is definitely an issue because I obviously work off of lap Wi-Fi. Whoa, I'm so hungry. I obviously work off of Wi-Fi from home. Or my stomach is so crumbling. Temporarily, I'm connected to the neighbor's Wi-Fi. The um, Wi-Fi people are supposed to come. They were supposed to be here like two hours ago, but they are nowhere to be seen. I am starving and need to go get food. So I'm just gonna go get food and come back and see. But I would prefer to be working at a cafe. I was looking up a bunch of places to go work at in the city. Yo, the car noises are insane. And actually, there's a really cool place nearby that I'll show you guys. I want to like explore the city so much that I can give you guys recommendations because there are a couple places that I used to go when I went to NYU, but I really don't know the city that well. It's gonna have to do for now. So far, I feel like my New York City trip is off to a very New York start. Trivia night was super fun. We ended up going to dessert afterwards. Oh my god, we accidentally dined and dashed. We forgot to pay for our dinner. We were like three blocks down we're like oh we're feeling so defeated because we really we tanked so hard at trivia and then my friend emma was like oh my god did we pay and we we're like oh shit so we run back by the time we get back to the restaurant all of the workers are like huddled around our table that we were sat at <laughs> and it looked real serious it looked real serious it looked like a crime scene like they were about to report us and like have our faces plastered on the walls yeah it was a moment for sure it was a moment for sure so i just go up to our waiter and i was like i'm so sorry we forgot to pay and then one of the other girls was like oh they forgot to pay so they are definitely talk about us but um you know we went back at least and we paid lol cool 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 okay we go get food The Wi-Fi box. <sighs> and we have Wi-Fi. I am so incredibly hungry. I was about to step out when the Wi-Fi guy came and it's been like three hours. So I am so starving. It's like 3 p.m. now. I am gonna go get food and then bring all my stuff so that I can work at a cafe. I'm literally gonna like faint on the street. I'm so hungry. a struggle to get out here you know it probably is not the best idea that i'm also wearing like the fanciest dress ever this is my first time on the fire escape i'm so terrified i'm about to drop my phone right now but look at the aesthetic it's so nice up here 
the windowsill is so ashy. I know my dress is like black right now, but went to this like fancy premiere thing. I'm a premiere girl. Arguably, wait, am I like really loud right now? Am I like yelling into this mic? I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos and like allowing me to live in New York again. It's been, I've only been here for a week, but I already really, really love it, which is kind of an issue because now I have to figure out a way to move here. But that's TBD. I, I'm living here for like a couple months. So maybe I'll hate it. I don't know. I'm kind of of the mindset that like, cause really good things have been happening. I'm like, something is about to happen to me. Like, I feel like good things just can't happen in my life without bad things happening also. But hopefully it just continues to be good. If not, you know, I probably had it coming. I don't know if that's a good mindset to have. Oh my god, coupon street, coupon street. I was so skeptical coming here because I was like, I think I'm gonna hate it again. Like every time I do visit, I'm like, oh, it's so fun. But I was like convinced that if I moved here for a long term period of time, I would hate it. Girl, New York City is where it's at. Like, how is this, how is this real right now? Okay, it's about to really start raining. I'm just so, so, so grateful. This is a, this is gonna be a hashtag grateful moment for me. My plan for this year was to travel a lot because I basically don't know where I wanna live in the world right now. It's just like a time of a lot of confusion for me. It's like truly my quarter life crisis moment. For my entire life, I didn't like Vancouver, but once I finally finished my condo renovations and started living in my condo, I was like, oh my God, wait, Vancouver is kind of amazing. Like I really love it. But the second I started liking Vancouver, I had to hop on a flight to New York. So now I'm like, I really do like New York. So I don't really know. It'll be kind of complicated. Anyway, thanks for hanging with me. It's been so real and I hope it continues to be real. Be real. And I, I really, really, truly hope that all of you guys feel like this at some point during the summer. Hopefully right now and hope for long, long, long periods of time. I love you. And I love New York.